Installing Microsoft Windows on your Mac is actually a fairly simple process using Boot Camp. Just ensure that you meet the minimum requirements, and then there's just a couple of steps that you have to go through in order to get it working properly. The minimum requirements are that you have an Intel-based Mac, the Windows installation media or an ISO that's 64-bit of Windows 8 or later, and of course a 16 gigabyte or larger USB flash drive that you can erase and that you can use for this process, and you need at least 30 gigabytes of free space on your startup drive. Once you ensure that you meet those minimum requirements, go ahead and take that USB drive and insert it into your Macintosh. Then use your favorite browser, navigate to microsoft.com slash en dash us slash software dash download slash Windows 10 in order to download the proper ISO file for Windows 10. Once that download has completed, head over to your applications, then over to the utilities folder and select the bootcamp assistant. Bootcamp Assistant is fairly straightforward and all of the instructions will be able to guide you into exactly what you need to do. So all you really need to do is just follow the instructions that it gives you. If you definitely think that you're ready to install Windows through Bootcamp on your Mac, then go ahead and make sure that all three of these are selected. Because you definitely want to create an install disk, which is what your USB drive is for. And you also want to download the latest support software from Apple so that everything can work smoothly once you're actually in Windows and also can support it. And in this case, it'll make sure that you can support Windows 10. And of course, obviously, you want to install Windows, which is the last checkbox, which is exactly what we're doing. On the next screen, you'll be able to select where your ISO image is that you downloaded, and also select where you want to install that ISO. So go ahead and select wherever it is that you downloaded it. In this case, I have it in Downloads, and it's obviously entitled Win 10 English uh, X64. And my destination drive is going to be the Lexar USB flash drive for myself. So go ahead and select whichever USB flash drive, if you have many, that you want to install it to. It'll take it some time to actually download and install onto that USB drive your uh, your ISO to download everything that it needs to do. But once it does that, you're going to be greeted with a, with a screen to create a partition to actually install Windows on. And as you can see here, you can uh, adjust how much or how large you want that partition to be. And when you're done, once you've uh, selected how large you want it to be, in this case, I want it to be the minimum, go ahead and hit install. While still keeping the USB drive inserted, the Bootcamp Assistant is going to restart and then you'll be greeted with the usual Windows 10 installation screen. Just follow the on-screen prompts to install Windows 10 and uh, just be wary that you don't necessarily need a CD key to install it right now. However, after 30 days you will need one otherwise the product isn't going to work as intended. After Windows 10 is finished installing, go ahead and take out the USB drive and restart and you should be greeted with a uh, screen that prompts you whether or not you want to go ahead and go into Windows or OS X. So there we have it. Installing Windows 10 on your Mac is a fairly simple process using Boot Camp and support is fairly good right now. Of course, battery life will be reduced because there isn't uh, official support within Windows 10 for all of the sweet little electronics within your Mac. However, your battle life is still going to be pretty good. Just be advised that at some point you are going to have to have a CD key and you're going to have to enter one of those because this is technically a new installation. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to install Windows 10 on your Macintosh utilizing the Bootcamp Assistant within Mac itself. I'm Jeff, WCCF Tech Does.